It's the UKC Virtual Live Stage. I'm Stan Matsumoto, and with me is Nicole Sedlicki. How is your virtual premiere experience going, Sam? I think this is fabulous. Yeah, I'm having a ball. It's really cool they were able to do all of this, and the number of dogs, number of owners that sent in videos of their dogs for us to do this virtual event. And they're filming from home, they're filming from a dog show, they're filming from all over. We have some pictures of dogs in a pasture and you can hear cows in the background. I mean, literally all over. We have dogs from Finland, the UK, Vancouver, Texas. They're all over the world here on this same stage. And some of those people are sheer novices and some are experienced people that have been in dogs for years. So that's what I find interesting. Yeah, it's, it's an amazing event and so glad to be here. We've already covered the Guardian Group, Scent Hounds and Sight Hounds and are now at the Gun Dog Group. We're halfway there. Halfway. The Gun Dog Group is comprised of retrievers that are meant to retrieve fowl, typically in the water or on land. There's also the pointers who show their, their handlers where birds are in the field. Setters who also show where the birds are, but in a different way. And our flushers who run through the field and flush the birds up into the air. All right, who is our, who is our judge for the gun dog group? Kevin is Carroll is gonna judge our gun dog group. So let's get started. All right, starting the gun dog group is a Panier Breton 401, Miles Rise de Plais du Soleil, Rise, owned by Lori Reeder Brown of Texas. Commonly known as the French Brittany. Aren't Brittany's from France? Yes. So what makes the French Brittany more French? Just the make and shape. I know from their breed standard, um, the head is a very, very important piece. It's very heavy, unlike the Brittany that we know. Mm -hmm. And their body style is different. Again, heavy. But they're both great hunting breeds. So for how, how do they, they hunt? Because they used to be called the Brittany Spaniel. Correct. But I've, I've heard that they don't truly hunt like a Spaniel. No. They hunt more like a setter and they hunt the, um, uh, the people, the hunters, I believe hunt from horseback, don't they? Yes, uh, many, many do. And I don't know if that's the case with the... Um, I don't know, think the with the Breton, but I think with the actual Brittany they do. Panier Bretons are very versatile in that so many of them that show in confirmation also do field trial just like the total dog should be. All right, next we have Gordon Setter 402, Blackbird Sweet Dream Willow, owned by Charlotte Moundy of Arkansas. The Gordon Setter is the heaviest of the four Irish breeds. The four so, Irish breeds? The four, four setter setters. Breeds. Because I know, I think you got confused, or you said it because of the Irish, Irish setter. Yes, and the Irish red and white setter. Um, but is the Irish setter the smallest, like the lightest boned of the setter breeds? Probably. Although the red and white is, is fine. No, the red and white, I believe, is probably finer boned than the Irish setter. So this is Willow. Willow's performance event is nose work which stands the reason to get a hunting dog. <laughs> Willow is very birdy. Her favorite birds are the C-130 military planes that fly over her house daily. <laughs> That's too funny. She sees them coming and begins her stalking. Oh, now here's a breed that you should be very familiar with. I am the Standard Poodle. This is Standard Poodle 403, Family Affairs, Storm the Castle, Storm, owned by Sarah Scarborough of Washington. So yeah, with standard poodles, um, they come in a variety of colors. Like I said, 
UKC is the only registry that allows the multicolored poodle to show in confirmation. This is a solid a storm and he is a blue. And um, you want to touch upon why they have the clips on these dogs and why they're clipped in such a manner that people refer to them as poofs, but they're actually bracelets and... And rosettes, yes. yeah. Um, so it's, a, it's an historical trim, the one that you saw with Storm, that is called the continental trim. It was used to protect the organs of the dog as they retrieved and got ducks in the cold water. And the joints, yes. They're one of the first um, retriever breeds. We now have German short hair pointer. Dog 404, Bettaglia Hoffman's Gunner. Owned by Alyssa, Alyssa Hoffman of Illinois. Gunner is her first competition dog. Big goofball and competes in nose work, obedience, rally, and agility. Loves swimming more than anything else. These are great hunting dogs. Oh, they do everything. You know, they, they have a bit more energy than some breeds. Very much energy, yes. And they're always willing to go. Really fun for those people with an active lifestyle. Now, this, this dog, you normally see a bit more um, white in the pattern. Or ticking. Ticking, so. This is liver. But they can just be shown solid like that. Absolutely. Wow. Good job, Gunner. Actually, in UKC, you can have them even in black color, and other registries you can't. Yeah, UKC is great about recognizing the dog's structure doesn't necessarily come from their color. Right. And just because a color is a recessive in the breed, it has nothing it should, to do with the dog's function mm -hmm. it's part, or why it was bred. It's part of the dog's, the breed's history, and so. And here's the typical German short hair that you see as far, far as color goes. This is German short hair pointer 405, Blue Stars, Circle von Boon Ruger. His name is Ruger. Again, owned by Alyssa Fataglia Hoffman of Illinois. Ruger, Ruger, I'm sorry, Gunner doesn't swim. Ruger, well he might, but Ruger loves swimming more than anything else. And what was his performance? His performance was Nose work. He also he also uh, competes in obedience, rally, and agility. Very talented. Multifaceted dog. Here she's showing us the bite, and on a German short hair, it should be a scissors bite where the top incisors fit nice, tightly, snug over the lower incisors. Um, why is that important? for a gun dog? Because sometimes they have to pick up prey, pick up birds, and that's how they do it. Next we have Golden Retriever, 406. Rydberg's Little Spark of Red. His name is Rode, owned by Jerica of Wisconsin. Interestingly enough, with Golden Retrievers, mm -hmm. they come in all shades of gold, from a lighter gold to a darker gold and there's nothing that's better than another color, just so it's all in the shades of gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he is. He seems to be um, it's a really pretty richer, golden a richer color. Golden rich gold. Tone, yes. Road loves to climb trees. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Maybe, um, were, you know, were Golden's part of tree and walk? Like, no, did, did no. Did they come from tree and walkers? No. But, but here, <laughs> When we were talking about people sending their videos in, obviously this young lady was at a dog show. Mm -hmm. and and it looks like she's at a she, fairgrounds. Absolutely, and she decided that this is when she's going to do her filming. It's what a what, perfect time! Absolutely. You already have your dog washed and ready. You're probably practicing for for the ring. Yeah. Here we have. Oh, we were just talking about Brittany. The Brittany. This is Brittany. We saw the French Brittany um, before the first dog in the gun dog group. This is Zeke. K-Star Hope Poor Teasy Man. Zeke, owned by Mary Shannon of Virginia. I see what you're saying. 
um, about the French Britneys having shorter legs and a little bit blockier head. More stockier body, mm -hmm. lower to the ground. Yeah, Britneys are very, very leggy breed. Yes. Supposed to be a square breed, mm -hmm. but there's got to be a little light underneath them. Whereas the French Brittany or the Breton, they're a little lower to the ground. These are fabulous bird dogs, and to watch them hunt is just incredible. Mary Shannon, um, the owner of this Brittany, she she always helps us at Premier. She is really great about ring stewarding for us. Um, we were able to see her this year. But and, I'm glad that we still got to see her on video. Well, and here you go. Look, again, she's got her backyard or her front yard or wherever she is set up in a ring, <laughs> just like at a regular dog show. Yes, this is Brittany 408 K Star Can Holly Snow Best. Holly. Again, owned by Mary Shannon. And she, I know from talking to her at Premiere while she is ring stewarding for us and things. Um, that she that her her dogs do compete in field trials. People that own Britneys, um, they're very proud of the fact that they have a lot of dual champions. Absolutely. More than more than other breeds. Now this color is orange, right? Yes. But they also come in liver. Yes. Here we have another golden retriever. And like I was, like we're referring to color, you can see the difference in color. Yes, this is golden retriever 409. Forever sky's the limit. And this Sky. Is more of a medium color golden. Sky is a smart, energetic, happy-go-lucky pup. Golden Retriever, I mean, everyone thinks of Goldens as you know, like one of America's breeds, right? You see them, very, very popular family Absolutely. breed. Absolutely. They're what you call a Velcro breed. They love their owners, and they plaster themselves with their owners. They want to do things with their owners. You see them excel a lot in obedience for that reason. They want to please. Sometimes they don't. They want to please, and even if they don't know how to yet. <laughs> I've know? talked to a lot of obedience people. I mean, really serious obedience people who are now judges. And they say golden retrievers are a harder breed to train, but once they learn it, they never forget. It. Right. Everyone who has a golden retriever at home, should send us are there photos Absolutely. on social media. Absolutely, and there's a lot of you folks that have goldens because we see a lot of them. We have golden retriever 410, Red Oaks, my sweet girl Addison. Addison is owned by Jennifer Creason of Wisconsin. And again, it looks like this dog is at a dog show, and she's out there just practicing, sending in her video. She's so showing front incisors and side dentition because side dentition is called for in a golden. They're supposed to have full dentition. So that means they can pick up that Canadian goose and not drop it. They didn't have side dentition, their side teeth. The dog They only just, have like the one point of contact for the bird. Absolutely. Right? <clears throat> now they have all that contact, 42. 42 what? Teeth. Uh oh. <laughs> so technically 42, 42 points of contact. Now this, I, we were talking about the colors, but this dog, it's a little bit bigger, more full than the first dog, the first looks, golden that we it, saw. Right, it looks, this looks a little older, a little more mature. Next we have yep, golden retriever right, 411. And here, here this young man is showing us his side teeth. Right. <laughs> and obviously he's just learning, but he's doing it. I love his little outfit. This is. Um, Forever Champagne 12 Rogers. Rogers is owned by Austin Creason. And the dog is bigger than the Oh handler. my gosh, look at how sweet that dog is though. Too cute. He'll do anything for that tree. And Austin's all dressed up, look at. He's ready to go. Shirt and tie and ready to show. I bet he was, perf um, he was 
participating in our junior showmanship event. And that's one thing in juniors, you just don't go in like you're cutting yeah. the grass in the backyard. You want to look like you you're look dressed for right? the event, correct? And Austin surely is. I love how he knows how to get his dog to sit. Obviously, this must be Austin's other brother. <laughs> Austin, or <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> um, this is Labrador Retriever 412, Hoffman's Martin Dog Creason. Martin is owned by Logan Creason, who I am assuming is Austin's, Austin's brother. Right, same family. <laughs> so This is the Labrador Yellow Lab. And look at that tail, my goodness. They're supposed to have what they call an otter tail, one of the hallmark qualities of the breed. Labradors are judged by head, coat, and tail. So otter tail meaning just the weight, the nice, thickness of it? A nice thick tail. And again, when we spoke about the whippet and acting as a rudder, the Labrador retriever's tail acts as a rudder in the water. Again, one of those other, uh, one of those recognizable family breeds. It's one of the most registered breeds right. you know, in the country. Great family dog as you can see. Nice. Here's another one of the retrieving breeds. The Flatco Retriever 413 rushes cue up the band Maestro owned by Annie Prang of Ontario Canada. And did you see how she uh, noticed how she pat patted the dog's head to show the judge? They're supposed mm -hmm. to have what they call a one piece head. Everything is smooth and it all fits together. Well knit. Oh yeah, I can see no that. No bulges, no bul no bulks or nothing. It's just one smooth motion. Maestro competes in nose work, and according to the owner, the first flat coat retriever to earn the elite nose work title. Wow. And only flat coat to earn the nose work champion title. This is gonna be a silly breed. They look a lot like golden retrievers. But their color is well they're black and uh, brown or am i liver. am i right liver liver okay we see more black colored flat coats than we do livers okay and this is another flat coat 414 rushes true illusion tricks owned by annie prong of ontario canada that tail never stops wagging. <laughs> um, so fun fact about Trix is he does know a very special trick. And that is he can do a handstand with his back feet on the wall. That's too funny. <laughs> Did she send a picture of that? <laughs> I don't, her, her performance video is again of nose work, but maybe, maybe it's interiors and and he does a, a handstand, we'll have to see. She should send us a video. <laughs> that would be wild to see. Annie, send us a video on your, on uh, Facebook on your, if, on you're, your handstand, if you're there. yes. Well, it tricks is handstand. Yeah, Annie, well. you don't have to do a handstand. Another retriever. We have Labrador Retriever, 415, Wonderlust, Roaming with Heart. And these Tiny come in. Sin. Three different colors. We saw the yellow. This would be the chocolate. Yes. And then we have black coat. Or Which is commonly, we labs. see a lot of yep. black color. This lab is owned by Jen Bailey of California. And notice this breed, head, coat, and tail. Look at the head. So, Tennyson has been trained to herd sheep her chickens at home. That's wonderful. He prefers to sleep in the closet during the summer. <laughs> it's probably cooler there. Notice the thickness of that tail. Mm -hmm. Yes, this dog competes a lot in nose work. Oh my gosh, look at that ball. So I know a lot of people have treats and bait. It looks like she has a toy. Same thing. And that's just to get the dog's, dog's ears to become erect and to look sparkly. To look sparkly. <laughs> you want that dog to shine. We have Labrador Retriever, 
416, Big Sky's Sonic Boom at Bailwater, Maverick, owned by Sue Slutes in North Carolina. This looks to be another chocolate lab. Yeah, so Maverick is a very active Labrador, loves his dock diving and showing. His favorite activity is jumping into the cow tub with his best friend, Cole. They love water, they love swimming. <laughs> Notice the thickness of that dog's tail at the root, where it comes off the dog's body. How does that help? So, I mean, the dog does seem to be, you know, I guess thick, like, like bit round right. in the chest area. Right. Um, does that help them when they're, when they're retrieving in the water? Sure, it's all swimming, buoyancy, endurance. Showing us the front incisors and the side dentition. So, like like the golden, they they have they, full dentition. They, sh they should have side dentition as well. Nice square breed, good making shape, good balance, and their feet are actually more webbed than other breeds to give them the capacity to swim. This is a very well made dog. Next we have. Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever 417. Because the Saints come marching in. Breeze, owned by Deborah Ebe of Virginia. You know, I just, I've always loved tollers because every time they look at you, it looks like they're smiling. And they look puppyish. Yes, just yeah. Just from their makeup. These are a very active dog and they're actually bred to run, race back and forth on the beach, mm -hmm. rise and causing the ducks to rise so the owners can shoot. Deb, Bree's owner, um, she's very active in her local UKC clubs, does a lot of event secretary work for Hampton Roads kind of clubs and, and Mid-Atlantic kind what of clubs. What was this dog's performance? This dog's performance is duck jumping. Oh. Not surprising being a... A water dog, so to speak. Mm-hmm. They're really, really fun to watch um, with game with ducks. And the white tip on the tail, that's to let the owners know exactly where the dog is. <laughs> so they see it. I love his little, little weight on the feet, too. Yes. Bree is a fun-loving dog who wants to be the center of attention. He loves to find sticks for you to throw, and he loves showing and dock diving. Good boy, Bree. Our next dog is English Springer Spaniel 418, Emerald Isle Ridgewind Dot Witta, Dotty, owned by Shireen Stout of Washington. This is a flushing Spaniel. So what do you mean when you say that? Well, they were sent out in the brush to flush the game and cause the birds to fly up so the hunters could shoot them. Look at those long ears. Very it's like, spaniel -y. It's a hallmark of the of the breed, right? Very, very spaniel -y, yes. Yeah, I guess all, all spaniels, right? Long ears, round eyes. Soft Jewel. expression. Mm -hmm. These come in two different colors. Black you and liver. You have black and white here, mm -hmm. and you have liver and white. And again, it doesn't make any difference that it's not solid black and it's got a, what they call an open coat. It doesn't take away from the dog's performance. <laughs> a little hop, skip, and a jump right there. Daddy loves to do tricks and is willing team member in agility, obedience, and rally. She's also a big talker and 
self-taught master rabbit hunter. <laughs> I'm sure she loves just out, being out there playing in the yard. The performance event that she had sent in is obedience. Look how it, she stands like a statue. She's very in tune to her owner. Mm -hmm. Here we have another flat coat. Flat coat, 419, rushes just another werewolf. Lupin, owned by Leanne Taylor. And see what I was talking about, the head, how when you look at the head from an on frontal view, it's one piece, it's just one piece. Everything flows together. So you mean, so um, you're saying like the stop, there's not much stop, is that what you mean? Like where the muzzle the meets stop, the back skull? The zygomatic process, the cheekbones, the mm -hmm. back skull, everything just flows. Your hand should just glide. Lupin loves his golden retriever pack leader, Jazz. Enjoys agility, uh, sprints, and confirmation. And also <laughs> likes his Scooby-Doo. Or likes to talk talk like Scooby Doo. Whoa, 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 whoa! He's a great hunter and companion dog. Performance on this dog? Agility. Okay. All right. Now we have our PL dog, Colonel Charles Beckwith. Beck, owned by Brandon Zorns of Ohio. So um, a little bit about our, what PL is, it's performance listing. Performance listing dogs normally don't participate in confirmation, but are able to participate in all yeah. of our performance events that UKC offers. And this dog participates in a lot of them. He has over 20 performance titles in wow. AKC and and he is a nine-year-old therapy dog. Whoa. He loves to do barn hunt. And it's just so, it's so great that, you know, someone who hasn't competed in com confirmation before still felt comfortable to send us their video, send us their performance video, and, and just could- Show off what the dog can actually Yeah, do. and participate in this event. So thank you very much. So let's check in with Kevin to see what his selection was in the gun dog group. Yeah, Kevin, who'd you pick? Hey everyone, uh, Kevin is a Carl here again. Uh, next up for me is the gun dog group. Uh, very, very big group, uh, really good quality, good variety here. So thank you to everyone for their entries. Uh, fourth place I gave to the Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever, uh, number 417. Third place went to the Brittany, uh, number 407. Second place gun dog group went to the Epagnol Breton, number 401. And first place in the gun dog group and the dog going through to best in show to represent the group is the English Springer Spaniel, number 418. Thank you guys. Congratulations to Dottie and Shireen of Washington State. All right, Stan, we are halfway through. We still have the Northern group, the herding group, terrier and companion before we have Total Dog Best in Show. And let's not forget that English Springer goes on to Best in Show Total Dog. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. Um, we're gonna take a quick break. In the meantime, make sure to go check out the booths, go see the sessions. And if your dog is at home watching, make sure to take a picture and send it to us on our UKC Facebook or Instagram. All right, we'll be back with the Northern Group. Can't wait. See you soon.